Now, your news on the go. Former President Donald Trump indicted for the third time this year. It names six co-conspirators alongside the former president in their alleged efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Special counsel Jack Smith, a Liverpool grad, says the group is accused of spreading lies that eventually sparked the January 6th attack on the Capitol. Among those named former New York mayor and attorney to the president, Rudy Giuliani. Trump's first court appearance is scheduled for tomorrow afternoon. In a few hours, Governor Kathy Hochul will be coming to Central New York to help promote Micron's commitment to the community. It's part of a week's worth of events for company executives. It kicks off later this morning with the first Micron community engagement meeting. That's at 9 at Syracuse ITC. Right after that, the governor will share an update about Micron's commitment to child care in the region. From Micron to Mega Millions, there was no big winner in last night's drawing. So the jackpot now jumping past $1.2 billion, but there were some lower level winners, at least seven people taking home a million dollars. How about that? One of those tickets sold downstate. Here are the numbers, 8, 24, 30, 45, 61, the Mega Ball 12. Come this fall, St. Joseph's Health is planning to close its home and health care agency. 71 people will be out of work. The agency says it will likely close October 3rd, 23rd. The long-awaited sale of Great Northern Mall is now official. The developers of the company, Hart Lyman, have big plans to turn the property around. Managing partner Guy Hart says he hopes to see shovels in the ground next year. The Orange are heading back to campus. In a few hours, Syracuse will step onto the field for the first official practice of the season. Exactly one month from today, the football team will face their first opponent. The Orange scheduled to tackle Colgate Saturday, September 2nd at the Dome.